Hello and welcome to TXM TV. I'm Anthony Klein. Today we're talking about the fishbone diagram, the purpose of the fishbone and how it works. The fishbone diagram is a fantastic problem solving tool that allows people to position their ideas, listens to other people's ideas, and then check all the possible categories and ensure that they are considered and then filter down to the most likely cause. Often when people participate in a problem solving exercise, we arrive at the session with a firm opinion of what the cause is. And when we finish the session, often we weren't exactly right to start with. And the fishbone diagram allows us to, to initially position what we think the cause is on the diagram, but then as other people position their, their ideas, we listen to them. And it structures a process of, uh, of listening in turn, in sequence, and everybody in the group gets listened to. And they explain why they think that cause is. And, uh, and, then, and then once I or the person has uh, let go of their uh, initial uh, reason, then they're able to listen to other people and build upon their ideas and link them to other ideas and to get a, and so the, what, what was a hypothesis becomes a very well matured uh, theory in, in the fishbone process. Now, the, um, the causes are, are represented by the, the branches of the fishbone, are surrounded by the, the heart of the fish. And uh, over here, we write the problem. That's, uh, we write a simple description of what the problem is. And then moving around the, the, the branches, we've got the, uh, if there's a material cause that, that uh, caused the problem, then we write it on, uh, on this branch up here. And then uh, the method cause is, uh, is up above me. So if it's the way that the, the work is being done and, uh, and the way it's designed, then that, that could be a problem. Over here is the people. And the people now get split into the various factors called human factors of how people make mistakes. And uh, we do that so that we, a bit, it makes it a much more structured conversation about why a mistake happened if the person didn't do the right thing. And, uh, and it's not about blame, it's about understanding why they did it. And uh, so that we'll go through those ones. And uh, from the top, we've got the, uh, the inconsistency. That refers to when two different people think they're doing it the, the correct way, but they actually do it differently. And, uh, and we see that a lot. And uh, memory gap, that's when somebody uh, goes to enter in a, um, a number or, or a, a work sequence and they're recalling from memory, but they don't quite get the right, the right one or the right numbers or the right whatever it is. They, they, the wrong one is selected. Learning gap simply means they're not, the training has not been effective and the knowledge that that person had caused, didn't, wasn't up to scratch and caused a, a defect in that situation. Uh, right over, right over there is uh, application, and uh, the application is around being distracted, not having the focus, and, it, and that, that's often to do with handing over from one person to another. It could be about um, discontinuing the work because there was a, a break, a fire alarm, a lunch, a meal break, or any anything like that. Uh, omission is just I think we missed one. We just uh, there's two sheets of paper together, one got missed. The, what it, however that, uh, that work happened, we just missed it. And then uh, decisions is the, is the one in the situation where the person knew that it, uh, it wasn't, wasn't quite right or they had to make a decision to go away from the standard and they made a decision and it, was, it caused the defect. And so, so, so we break that one down. We don't break down the other branches and that's, uh, that's because we, it's quite easy to talk about machines and they, and they, uh, they don't get uh, defensive. The, um, over down there, the machines, if the machine caused the problem because uh, it was faulty or main not maintained properly or any other reason, then, uh, then that's, that goes in that cause. Measurement is around uh, calibration and the ability to have the right information to make decisions. So often uh, there'll be what we think the, the number is, we make a decision on that, but if, the, if it's wrong, then, uh, then there's a, a defect. And then environment is simply the, uh, the working environment has led to the defect. So there's a range of dimensions of environment. It could be the weather, which is the, one of the ones with temperature, moisture. It could be noise, and uh, it could be flashing lights. It could be distraction. 
or it could even be um, emotional environment and uh, and stress and, and and that type of thing. So, so they're the they're the uh, what what used to be six categories of the fish bone. It's now expanded to be uh, twelve or eleven, depending on how you count the people ones. And uh, and that what that does that acts as a checklist to ensure that the people in the problem solving uh, workshop or a session each consider all of those possible uh, causes when they're brainstorming and writing down what they think the causes are. And, uh, and after that, what we do is the people then decide which of those of these causes is the most likely one. And, uh, and they do that on this fishbone. And so uh, how at TXM we do it is we, we get people to either decide, but if, uh, if we can't decide, then we get them to vote. And we have a collaborative voting system where each person gets three votes, a 10, a three, and a one, and they put it, and they each select one. And what that does, it has a broad range of the most likely causes. If we just do three, two, and one, then often we get a big cluster of, uh, of, uh, of causes, and we're not, it doesn't polarize exactly which one it is. All right, well, thank you for watching uh, this TXM TV. Uh, episode on uh, the, the fishbone diagram. Uh, I'm Anthony Klein and I hope you watch us next time on TXM TV. Thank you.